Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plate. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you to my show today and I hope that you get inspired by my dish today to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, let's take one of the most famous appetizers, jalapeno poppers, and let's make dinner with it. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, y'all, we are going to take the flavors of a jalapeno popper, you know, one of the most famous appetizers, right, that we all like, where we take a jalapeno pepper, we stuff it full of cheese and goodness, and then we wrap it with bacon and put it in the oven. All right, so think of that with chicken, all right? So we're gonna take the flavors of a jalapeno popper, we're going to put it inside of a chicken breast, wrap that up in bacon, and then we're gonna make a nice, delicious sauce for the whole thing. And I promise you, y'all, that's gonna make the best dinner ever. All right, y'all ready for this one? First thing we're gonna do is I've got my chicken breast here. Now, I've got one right here that I've already done for you. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now, the first thing, you wanna take a nice sharp knife and you wanna push it in. And we're gonna cut this chicken in half. All right, so we're just going along the edges here. Now, we don't want to go all the way through to the end. We want about right there. We want to be able to open this up like a book. So go slow. Let's see what's going on in there. Oh, yeah, perfect, right like that. Okay, still good. And then just take your knife and just kind of run it along the edge right here until it opens up. All right, I'm going to wash my hands really quick. All right, so our next step is to lay a piece of saran wrap or clean wrap to your chicken there. And we're going to take a meat mallet, and what we're going to do is just thin this chicken out, okay? We're going to start with the center and kind of go out. And we want it all to be the same size and thickness so that it cooks really good. All right, so just go at it. Make yourself feel good right now. Just don't tear your chicken, all right, y'all? Woo! Take that frustration out of that chicken. We're looking to make this about uh, double the size that it was. All right, y'all. What do y'all do with chicken breast? You know, you season it, right? This is the first layer of flavor going on to our chicken. So I'm going to take some pepper. I'm going to season the front side here on both of them. Some salt. Oh yeah, and I am going to put some paprika on it. Now you can add other flavors to this, it's your chicken, all right? But don't want to overpower it because we've got other flavors going in here to make that jalapeno popper taste. All right, got that one side. I'm gonna go ahead now and flip it over to the other side. All right, y'all, for the cream cheese mixture that's gonna go inside of our chicken here, I've got four ounces of cream cheese, and I'm just kind of blending that down just a little bit. To this, now you don't want it too soft, y'all, or it's gonna like ooze out of the chicken when it's cooking, all right? So we do wanna kind of keep its form a little bit. All right, so I've got half a cup of some sharp cheddar cheese. Mmm, right? And I'm using half a cup of some pepper jack cheese. All right, it's gonna give it some flavor. I'm gonna put all that in there. And then what I'm gonna do, whoop, escapee, is just blend these together. It's smelling good already, can y'all imagine? Stay with me, y'all. <laughs> we got a little bit more to go. Y'all, it's really simple and easy but it's so delicious too so it's so worth it oh my gosh all right oh perfect right there all right we'll leave that here for a second now what we're going to do 
is I've got two jalapeno peppers. Now, I think one jalapeno for each chicken breast is what I think, okay? Because um, the way I'm going to cut it. So what I'm going to do is cut off the tops. And just a little snippet at the end there. I'm going to cut these in half lengthwise. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do, alright, now you see all those seeds and the membrane in there, I'm going to pull that out, I'm just going to kind of cut it with my knife to get it started there, I don't want that in there. That's where all your heat is, right there, alright, I'm going to want that in there. Now, it is your jalapeno chicken, so if you want more heat, then by all means, you know, put it in there. Alright, I'm going to pop it down here like that. Now, I did substitute some heat, though. If you saw the pepper jack cheese go in my cheese mixture here, there is some a little bit of heat in there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is cut these in strips. All right. So y'all know that when you play around with a jalapeno pepper, if you're not going to wear gloves to do this, don't stick your finger in your eyes, all right? So make sure that after you, you play with your jalapenos here that you wash your hands really good afterwards. All right, so I've got my chicken breast ready here. Now, with the cream cheese mixture, I'm going to put half of this on each chicken breast, all right? Since I only have two chicken breasts I'm working with. Now, if you want to do four chicken breasts, just double the recipe, y'all. All right? Okay. So I'm going to take that and put it right on one side of it and then just kind of mash it down right in the center there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. How does that look, y'all? Wow, that's looking good. All right, we're gonna take half of the jalapeno pepper strips that we cut up. I'm gonna promise y'all, you're gonna love having all the, don't be skimpy on these jalapeno strips, y'all. I'm telling you, I've made this before, and my husband's like, more, more. My whole family was like, more. <laughs> They're so funny. All right, y'all, just like that. And we get some toothpicks here. All right, so we're gonna take the cheese edge here, hold everything in, bring it in like that, tuck it in, and keep rolling until you get to the end, just like that. All right, very good. I'm gonna flip it over now like that. I'm gonna grab one of these toothpicks and just kinda help hold its form for a minute. And we'll get the other one right here. All right, so I've got bacon strips here. <laughs> Let's just stick it in there. That toothpick will kind of hold it. All right, we're gonna pick up the chicken here and we're gonna wrap this bacon. Now pull it kind of tight so we can get it around just like that. Oh, that's looking good already. All right, you're gonna need about three pieces, three or four pieces for this, so. All right, pick it up. Oh yeah, you know where I'm going with this, y'all? Okay, just remember that this chicken breast right here will feed two people, in my house anyway. Okay, here we come around, tightening it up, coming on this end, we'll have that right there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll just um, cut this bacon in half here so we can finish layering it right there. There we go. How does that look, y'all? All right, let's get the other one. Ooh, y'all, y'all excited? I know I am. All right, y'all, we're fixing to fry these up first. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're getting ready to fry these up. What we wanna do is crisp our bacon until it's brown on all sides, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven, all right? So I'm using a nonstick skillet that I can put into my oven. So if you don't have a pan that can go into your oven, that's fine. You can go ahead and fry these up in your nonstick pan and then put them in a baking dish and put them in your oven, okay? No problem whatsoever. All right, I'm waiting for my pan to heat up here just a little bit. I'm just going to add like very little oil here because the bacon will produce a lot of fat. All right, y'all. Woo, do you hear that sizzle? All right. Once you get it in the pan, leave it alone, all right? Until we get that bacon nice crisp on one side, then we're going to start rotating it around. 
All right, y'all, what y'all think so far? Oh my goodness, y'all. Me and my husband went to a function um, about a month ago, and we had this. It wasn't exactly like this, but it had the flavors of the jalapeno popper inside of chicken breast, wrapped up in bacon, and had a nice sauce. So I recreated this dish. We've had it before, and we really liked it, and I just made a few changes to it to really up its value. All right, so that's how this came about. Ooh, that bacon smells so good right now. All right, y'all, as you can see, we got a nice golden brown crunchy crust on top of this chicken with that bacon wrapped around it. All right, y'all, I'm ready to put my jalapeno popper stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon in the oven. It's been preheating at 400 degrees. I'm going to put it in for about 25 minutes, no longer than 35 minutes. What we're looking for, use your thermometer, is an internal temperature of 165 for chicken. Now, just make sure that when you use your thermometer, don't go all the way into the cheese center, all right? You want to go in through the side to your thickest part of the breast there. To read your temperature. All right, y'all. We'll be back. All right, y'all. I just pulled these out of the oven. I'm taking them out of my pan so they can rest on a plate. Look at that. Beautiful, right? All right. We're going to let these rest on a plate for a few minutes while we make our sauce. Look at all this goodness in this pan. We don't want to lose any of that flavor, okay? We got some cheese in there. A little bit of the bacon grease. We want that, okay? We're going to keep that in there for sure. To this, we're going to add one cup of some heavy cream. Pull that in there. Oh, yep. All right, let's go ahead and mix that up. Stick all the little bits on the bottom. Now, if you were using a baking dish, you could just take whatever was left in that baking dish, put it back into your frying pan that you were cooking your bacon wrapped chicken in so that you can have those flavors. All right. Mm, look at that. All right. I've got half a cup of some shredded. This is Monterey Jack cheese. All right. I'm going in. Yep. All right. I've got some minced garlic. I've got two tablespoons here. Now, you know, whatever amount that you want. All right, to that, I'm going to add some salt, some pepper. These are the seasonings that I use for the chicken. So we want it all throughout the dish. And then we're going to add some paprika, give it some color, and extra little flavor, just like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just stir this up until it's all incorporated. Oh, y'all, it's just blowing the smell right at me. It smells delicious. There we go, right there. I'm going to put this on the bottom of a serving platter, and then we're going to cut the chicken. All right, we're almost done, y'all. We're almost to the home plate. All right, y'all, so my chicken has been resting until I got the sauce made, so I'm going to go ahead now and start cutting. Now, you want big slices here. Oh, I want y'all to see that. Look at that. All right. Oh, a little piece of bacon fell off. Okay. Look at that, y'all, right there. Mmm, gosh. Smells delicious. All right, so we're just going to pull the whole thing up, hold it together, lay it on one side, kind of spread them out a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gather it all up real close, push the knife all the way to the end so you can hold it all together. Put it on that side right there. Give it some room. Oh, there you go, y'all. All right, so I'm just cutting up some green onion, just the green part here. And we're going to use that to sprinkle. Mmm, look at that. All right, y'all. 
jalapeno popper stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon on a glorious sauce with all the flavors. I'm going in. All right, y'all, I could not wait. I'm excited. All right, let's go in. Mmm. There's that jalapeno right there. I'm so ready. Mmm. All right, y'all. The flavors, this chicken is so tender. Mmm. I challenge y'all to make this. You saw how easy it was. Not a lot of ingredients, but it sure packed a punch, which is what we want jalapeno poppers to do, right? All right, there you go. Take your jalapeno popper appetizer recipe, stuff it in a chicken, wrap it in bacon, and smother it in sauce. <laughs> All right, y'all. My full recipe can be found at www.catherinesplates.com. Go check out my blog for this recipe and many others. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. I will see you on the next episode.